Hey Scorpio, welcome to the Sacred Sage. This is your end of December 2018 reading and my lovelies, how have you been? Are you enjoying the end of December? It's it's been a crazy year, I know that. But end of the year, I think is a good time every year for you, me, everyone to just sit back and think, ah, oh, we work so hard. And yeah, it's a good time to plan for the next year as well, especially when the year starts with two big bang boom eclipses. It's got the first eclipse, which is the solar eclipse that happens on the 5th of January 2019. And then uh, you have the lunar eclipse in the sign of Leo, which happens on the 22nd of January 2019. And both of these are expected to bring in a major shift in uh, obviously various aspects of our life, depending on your uh, birth chart depending on your uh, sun sign moon sign and rising sign and therefore i insist for this reading and even for the january reading especially you must go and check out all the videos for your sun sign moon sign and rising sign because all of these are important messages uh they are reaching you because the universe wants to send you this guidance and it's important that you hear it all so that you can find your way and be better prepared for the eclipse energy and therefore uh, plan 2019 in a better way all right before we get started with your reading tell me have you subscribed to my channel as yet if not then you must because we just love you and we love interacting with you so it's important that you subscribe like comment and share so that we can exchange notes on uh, on a weekly basis i'd love to know what's happening in your life uh, tell me your story and I'll tell you the tarot story, right? That's how we bond. All right, getting started with your reading. I think uh, there's a lot of balance and there's a lot of love in your life right now. I think that is the overall energy where the focus is more on <clears throat> stability in life. It is more about bringing in balance. It's more about feeling and embracing the love. It's possible that you're blessed with a new lover. It's possible that your love life is uh, prospering, uh, is blossoming, and you have a lot of... Uh, a lot of joy, content, feeling. Um, I mean, the contentment is also coming because uh, you you believe that you found the partner who uh, makes you feel complete, right? So if you had any voids in your life or if you thought that you're lacking uh, something in your life, this partner that you have in your life makes you feel complete. And that is why the balance is coming into your life. That is why you're feeling happy, content, joyful. And, and it's just a very soulful energy. So yeah, good luck with that. And there is the wheel of fortunes, which also means with this partner coming in, your life is going to change. Uh, new things are going to happen. It's the end of the life cycle uh, of the karma that you had to go through without having a life partner who's so loving and caring so now that you're getting a person in your life now that the companionship is established um, a new cycle is about to begin it could also be possible that in the past you've been you've been under the influence of certain kind of spells uh, something toxic something which is codependent which is manipulative something which is more like a very restrictive commanding uh, it, it's more like someone wanting to control your life or you wanting to control someone's life right you've been battling with that energy and that's made you depressive that's made you feel like uh feel like a beggar right where you're kind of were dependent on others and whatever they had to offer is all that you could get and that was not sufficient for you you always felt the lack in your life and it was always about money all right it was about security uh, some part of it could also be about inheritance so i don't know uh how the two sides of your life love and inheritance uh you know uh, kind of get uh, codependent but there is something about money and uh, this whole controlling equation which was more like the devil energy that was a part of your life and that was making you depressive it was also making you feel 
vindictive in certain ways, right? There was this whole energy of revenge, of vengeance, of, uh, of just just being uh, negative about life, almost about everything. So now with the world card and the wheel of fortune being there, your life is about to change. The moon energy, the depression, the vendetta that you had in your heart, that's going to transform into a much more positive energy where you will be able to manifest good things. The sun will shine upon you. It's a lot of abundance and prosperity coming into your life. You're also uh, waiting for, you know, once you once you get into the sun energy, when the wheel of fortune changes and your world changes for the good, you are then going to manifest new things in your life. You're going to manifest happiness in your life. And then you're, you're just eagerly waiting to see how that unfolds for you. So you're not prepared to move away from the devil. The devil is going away and... Uh, and yeah, you you now are ready to take upon the new journey of your life and set a new world for yourself. And I hope the Wheel of Fortune actually brings you good fortune, good luck and a lot of love and prosperity. So God bless you with that. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in 2019. Wish you a happy new year and a happy holiday season. Lots of love. Take care.